Today, Oklahoma played a huge role in the first tank down of a nationwide catalytic converter theft ring. The U.S. Department of Justice seizing more than half a billion dollars in assets. Incredible. 500 million bucks. In all, 32 warrants were executed and 21 people were arrested in nine states. Now, here in Oklahoma, a raid took place at a facility in Wagner County this morning. News Force Kaitor K has more details on our state's role in this massive bust. This is something, Kaitor. Absolutely. The U.S. Attorney for Northeast Oklahoma says more than 2,000 catalytic converters were stolen this year in Tulsa alone. They issued a 40-count indictment, charging 13 people with conspiracy and money laundering, among other charges. But as we looked into it, we realized it was a multinational state ring of individuals. We're talking over half a billion dollars of people stealing things off of people's cars every day. The first takedown of a nationwide catalytic converter theft ring executed Wednesday. A national network of thieves, dealers, and processors busted in nine states with 32 search warrants executed and 21 people arrested. U.S. Attorney for Northeast Oklahoma Clint Johnson says they brought forth charges against 13 of the individuals arrested arrested, cameras capturing a raid at a facility in Coweta, Wagner County. So what we had was people stealing them off of cars, and then we, we, we charged those individuals as well as the people that bought the catalytic converters, shipped them to, to New Jersey, and then received hundreds of millions of dollars in return. The Eastern District of California also taking part in this massive national takedown. What our purpose was to go up the chain and find the people ultimately responsible who are making the most money. Johnson saying too many people have been hurt with over 2,000 catalytic converters stolen in Tulsa alone this year. But there will now be justice as they seek over $545 million in asset forfeiture. There are a lot of moving pieces, a lot of defendants, a lot of money, and a lot of assets seized today. Johnson explains that catalytic converter thefts are rising because of their value relative ease to steal and their lack of identifying markers. They recommend you always try to park in secure, well-lit places to avoid it from happening to you.